Turazzo i pełnomocnikiem do spraw Afryki przy pełnomocniku rządu Rzeczpospolitej Polski do spraw Expo 2012 we Wrocławiu. Specjalnym wysłannikiem prezydenta Rzeczpospolitej Polski do szefów pas afrykańskich w sprawie polskiego projektu Expo 2012. W Afryce spędził łącznie około 15 lat, odwiedził 30 krajów tego kontynentu, ale z 50 zostało mu jeszcze 23. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you all know, I'm uh, in the final weeks of my championship and before the very end I wanted to make sure that we have a patron honorary, that is an honorary patron who is appropriate for our future ambitions. Uh, and that is why I decided that we have to convince Dr. Eugenisz Jewuski. As you can see, uh, he has the qualities that we are looking for, for such a project, and I'm sure that for the next one year he will help us. And he has come to also all the way. Uh, he was sick over the last three days, and I was praying that he can recover. He was actually bad. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> today he came to Krabu, he was very tired because he spent the whole night writing assignments for his students, but he wanted to be with us today. And I'm very happy. And to perform a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> and before I introduce him at the same time, I'd like to thank the South African ambassador for her extraordinary support over the last one year. She has been there for us. We have made about three or four visits to Warsaw, and she has always found time for us, despite that she is the busiest, probably, of the African ambassadors. But she always found time to give us advice, and today again she is here with us. So we are very grateful for the support that we are receiving. So, Dr. Jewuski, the floor is yours. But uh, let me start with, with should I speak Polish? Yes. Or maybe for protocol or reasons. We came today with a Nigerian guest who traveled with me, uh, Al Haji Malam Azare. <laughs> Why do I mention him just at the beginning of my speech? Because we were discussing in the train about what is the, uh, what does it mean age and experience and what is the role of elderly people like like myself and uh, Azari Azari has taught me a proverb in Hausa language. Avinda Baba ya Hanya Yaroka ya Hau Urimi Bazai Hangoban. Yes. This is one of the languages I have learned uh, 40 years ago, but I have completely forgotten. <laughs> but it means that an elderly per person uh, sitting uh, in the courtyard sees much uh, uh, further, maybe, and more things than a young man, a youngster who is climbing at the tallest tree in the, in the savannah. <laughs> uh, so that was the, that was the philosophy. And I thought it is a good uh, African, uh, in the spirit of African rhetoric, to start a speech with a, with a proverb. But my message and my, uh, my speech will be very short. Uh, please, of course, I do not deny the, um, the value of this proverb. Um, but uh, please do everything to, to challenge um, to challenge the, the, its content. Please do everything that you will see, not only from the tallest trees, uh, very large horizons. Please ask as many questions to the elderly people, but also to, the, to your peers when, when you are on the, on the road, when you are in the library as well. Um, Earl has read uh, my CV. <laughs> I thought I will be given the, the honoris causa. <laughs> so it was, it was the elegy. But uh, something is uh, really make me makes me nostalgic. You see this academic expedition to Africa. 
35 years ago exactly in, in November, the two big lorries trucks, uh, 12 uh, young Africanists uh, started a journey which uh, journey to Africa from Warsaw to the equator and further south and back to Warsaw. Uh, and that was the first Polish academic expedition to Africa of the Warsaw University. But when I was, uh, as one of the participants and organizers and, uh, and even the uh, 